Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way that I've found to remove shine. So we have our image open here and as always you're going to duplicate the background layer if you haven't already done so. You can also do this on a transparent layer. We have our image open here and I'm assessing the image and I see that she has some shine in this area, a little bit on the tip of her nose, um, a little bit on the forehead. Now with images that have more shine, this also works to remove the shine. Select the brush tool so you can go over here. B is the shortcut. Change your opacity to 100%. Sample the skin. Hold down the Alt button or the Option key to select a color near the skin that you want to bring down the tone for. And I typically like to have the tones fairly match the area around where I'm trying to darken it down. So as you can see, this kind of blends in very well with the cheek skin and blends in well with the nose skin as well. So I'm gonna select the skin from here and then just kind of darken it down. You should see some change, okay? So you wanna make sure you select a color that's a little bit darker, like a tad, like a smidgen darker. And you're gonna paint that in. Don't worry about if you get into the hair on this image. Uh, then we have that one there. And I'm just roughly doing this. This is exactly how I would do it if I were doing this for the client. And as you can see, that red that showed up was a little bit too dark. So I'm painting over it. And that works just fine. Let's do the chin. Sometimes we forget about the chin having shine. That does get a little shiny. Make sure we get the nose as well right in there. That color's a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna choose another color to sample from until I'm happy with that. As you can see, this looks a little bit fake and very airbrushed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my layers and change the blending mode to darken. Next, what you're gonna do is just bring down that opacity on that layer until you're happy with the results. I like to go to 30 and 40%. And as you can see, you don't wanna cut away the shine 100% because at 100% it looks too weird. Um, but I like between 30 and 40% on that opacity. And there you have it, the shine is reduced and the person doesn't look like a grease monster. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.